members of the uh, of the city of Utica. Okay. Uh, not, not so much of the codes, but more uh, of the fire department, of the highest echelon of the fire department. All right. You feel you uh, have... But where are you from, uh, Badish? I'm from Westchester County. Originally, I'm from France. Okay. But, uh, you know, I've been in the United States for quite some time, 16 years. And you bought property in Utica. I bought property in Utica. I had a local friend that advised me, and it, it, it seemed to be like a good opportunity property is a money losing operation from day one so we, we pretty much uh, subsidize people to live there you yeah. know but we're, we're really really uncle sam in, the, in this in this instance leave him and, a friend uh, yeah you you have the property so it's apartments apartments that you have here they're, they're apartment buildings three yeah. apartment buildings uh, fairly new you know they were built in uh, in 97 and uh they're a decent place to live. So people that live there are subsidized by the government? No, some of them, you know, receive some assistance. Some of them, you know, just pay for their own. Oh, okay. I I'm saying, you know, in essence, saying. we, we kind of subsidize. You are living there because, right. you know, it, it loses money, you know, because of the high tax burden in a city like Utica and the, and the high operating costs. Uh, you're saying so, by, the, by the time you're done paying off expenses, you're doing the absolutely. subsidizing. Yeah. Okay, so what is your gripe against the uh, the fire department, against the city of Utica? What? I mean, you feel that they put out there, you know, that we are unwelcome. Yeah. And I don't know how they want it, you know, because, you know, if they make it impossible, you know, so sometimes, you know, you, you, you can just be tough to keep the rules up, you know. Yeah. If you make it impossible for somebody, you know, to pick, you know, if, if all of a sudden a gallon, a gallon of milk was $10,000, so nobody, you know, you would make it impossible for people to buy right. milk. Right, it's a way it of deprive them yeah. of that nutrient. Pretty much what the, the city of Utica is, yeah. is doing, you know, with, with the constant har harassment of the fire department. And for instance, you know, a couple of weeks ago, there, there, there was an event, you know, where they, they showed up at our building, a 15-unit building, after we spent a lot of money fixing yeah. the uh, fire alarm system, and they came, and all of a sudden, the fire alarm was disabled. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they gave us a notice at 4.30 p.m. and posted the building at 5 p.m. to be closed and shut down. And we had 24 hours in this freezing cold to evacuate 15 families. But there's nothing wrong with the building. The building looks great. There's an elevator. It's, uh, it's a nice place to live. We have a live-in super that pretty much keeps everything clean and yeah. makes sure everything you know, is run well. So this is and, not uh, a... a, a you're, not, not, you're not a slumlord. You're not a slumlord. Absolutely not. We're, yeah. I have a full-time assistant in my office in Manhattan that runs day-to-day -day operation. I'm involved through anything that happens. I know about it. I have a guy that's there that lives there. Uh, that the super really is there 24-7, and there's nothing but building uh, issues. So what's wrong with the alarm? Well, what, what, what there, uh, there was nothing wrong. We, we brought, you know, the it, what happened is, at around Christmas time, they came and wanted to shut down the building. Same type of notice, a few hour notice, they want to shut down the building, they want everybody out. They forced us, which is what I call, what I allege to be extortion. Yeah. They pretty much forced us to bring a fire watch, which is somebody that stays there for 24 hours, that watches, although we have a super, by the way, yeah. that watches the building if it doesn't cause a catch on fire. And they allege the James Street fire, which is the big paranoia. You know? Right, I right. understand that happened, but that was a different situation. Right, right. So they pretty much suggest two contractors that are in bed with the fire department, this LT security and this uh, ABC system. Mm -hmm. And the fire chief suggest those two that I should hire a fire watch, which is somebody that they know, and I should hire the security system company, which charges you, you know, all kinds of a reasonable rate because it's an emergency and yeah. you need to do it. Otherwise, they're going to shut down the building. So you're and saying... While we're, while we have the building worked on. Yeah. Their guy, you know, from another company was watching my building for $20, for $20 an hour. So what you're saying is you have a super there, and your belief is, I'm trying to summarize here, that the city of Utica and the fire department is basically saying to you, you either do this and use one of our contractors, or we're going to shut you down. Of course. I mean, they, they don't force you to use the contractor, but they, they kind of suggest. You could use right. this guy. He does this, you know. Right. Otherwise, listen, we're going to shut you down in a few hours, you know. Well, that's and the then, way it know, is around I called, here. I've called the mayor's office uh, you know, with no return phone calls, and I've, expl I've, I've explained this unreasonable situation. I've called the district attorney, you know, to have the fire chief investigate. Hold on, hold on, right. hold, hold on a second. Justin, call out to the mayor's office right now. Let's get the mayor on right now. He's a okay. busy man. You can't just call him right well, now. Well, I mean? think that He's we, got stuff I, to do. I think that this guy has, this, a, this guy has a gripe. Then uh, I think we should get the mayor on right now, put them together. For God, here's the thing. 
it's easy for us to say, oh, these are absentee landlords. Yeah. And right now, it's easy to say that because you have the whole James Street fire in people's minds. Right. So they're automatically thinking, now, I don't know what your place looks like, but he's... He's got an elevator. But the other thing is... I, I, I'm there, I, I'm there uh, you know, every month, you know. Yeah. So I, I actually inspect the property every month. And you have a super. And I have a living super, and I have a full-time assistant that handles, you know, different different aspects of the uh, administrative uh, procedures with the city of Utica. Yeah. Every day. And and your thoughts are, your belief is that they just keep slapping you with more and more expenses. I mean, I'm like their piggy bank. Every time those guys, you know, need, need, need to you know, need some money, you know, they, they come and, you know, harass me. Yeah. Well, you're from, and, you're and, from and, the city. And you've got money. threat is building closure, you know, which is really putting 15 people out on the street, 15 families. Let me know? ask you this, uh, Benice. Where else do you have apartment buildings? I have three buildings in Utica, yeah, and I I have buildings in Arizona, and I have buildings in, in, in Queens, New York, and I've never had such such an unreasonable, you know, uh, you know, people to talk with, uh, to you, deal with. You've well, never been you've never been treated this way. This is what Utica is all well, about. Well, this is like you know those those uh, those, uh, those movies that you see in the western where the, the, the cops pulls you over and. <laughs> And brings your tail light, you know. It, it's that type of harassment. You right, know? right. They they knock the tail light out and they say, oh, yeah. "Hey, you got a tail light out. Yep. I'm going to ticket you." Are we doing this to someone who has invested money in the city of Utica? Are are we really doing this to somebody? Because I would hate to see this. What it sounds like. Exactly. Yeah. Plus, you know, we pay all those taxes. You know, the taxes are not that low in Utica. You know, right. they're very high, mm-hmm. and it keeps on being raised. You know, they just raised the sewer. Thirteen percent, you know, and uh, you know, uh, a lot of things are being raised in Utica for not that much service. For instance, we had some uh, drug issues in front of the building. Yeah. You know, I mean, Utica is a drug problem city, so we we've asked them to put some uh, outside lights. You know, so so uh, you know, first it makes it nicer, and then it makes it more safer. You know, because you know, it's very tough to deal drugs. You know, if, if you're exposed in the light. You yeah, know? yeah. You know, where about uh, is this ho- apartment place? Where, where is the apartment place? It's at the corner of Blandine and First Street. Okay. They're uh, nice brick buildings, you know. And, and and the buildings are fairly new. They're fairly new. They're, 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 they were built in 1997. There's nothing wrong with the building. It's a very good place to live in. Is it now a requirement by the city of Utica that you have a full-time alarm system? Well, and, we've had one since day one, you know. Okay. But they're saying that you'd have someone actually, uh, uh, you'd hire a uh, security company that would then monitor the house? Is that what you're saying? Well, they wanted, they wanted us to have a fire watch while they were, you know, which is a security, like a security guard pretty much that stays in case the building catches on fire. Well, that that would that be a huge... 24-7. That Why would, be, would you do that? That would be though? a huge expense, I've I would never even think. heard of something like and, that. And it was, exactly. And it was, plus we have a super that can do that. They've got to be the... The uh, the building catches on fire. Our super can call nine one one because he's there twenty four seven. He lives in the building and works in the building. What are the what is the what are the two uh, Justin uh, write this down? What are the two security companies that were recommended by the city? LP Security, ABC Systems. Okay, I'd be interested. I'd be ABC interested. In, systems? I would be yeah. interested to know who owns those two uh, security companies right. to see if well, there's uh, some sort of a tie. Maybe they're by the name of Sam Simon. Okay. Owns this uh, ABC Systems. Yeah. Okay. And he, he seemed to be very close to this fire department. And the <laughs> other one? Do you know who who the other one is? I'm not sure. The other one, I know it's LB Security, but I, I don't know who owns it. Okay. Well, you know, you gotta look out for your friends. You know. Well, and you think that's kind of <laughs> going on here? Well, I mean, it's Italian way. You know, the, the you're like assuming it's an Italian thing. Well, he's French. I mean, the right way. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they got some against the French people. I mean, I know there was a point where nine eleven. You know, nobody would eat French fries. They named them all Freedom <laughs> Fries. Yeah. <laughs> maybe it's a, an anti-French. Thing. But I mean, here's the here's the you know I'm going to get hyped up a minute. All right, here's the problem. We got a guy that comes from Manhattan, opens up three uh, apartment complexes, tries to do something for this city, and and what's going? On? I mean, not this. Who knows the whole story? Ultimately, story, ultimately, but... ultimately, he's you know you you made an investment. You're trying yeah. to make money. And there's nothing wrong with that. No, um, but he's losing money, right? And you know, you know, it, it yanks any, any, you know, any, you know. I wanted to buy more property in Utica because you know you can just reach better economies of scale by you know acquiring more property and uh, you know and uh, and getting your you know my portfolio bigger. But it's just right. impossible. You know? Yeah. Why would you wanna? Yeah. Of course. You know. There's, there's, you know. 